Hi, this is Troa00S, and I'd like to introduce you to a little segment I call Pondering Theories. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Mario Brothers universe and the three theories I have on it. This is just an attempt to look at how everything we know about the Mushroom Kingdom came to be in different ways. Theory number one is that Princess Peach is not the actual ruler of the world and has been lying to Mario and Luigi for the better part of 20 years. I first came to this theory when I started taking a good, long, hard look at the Mushroom Kingdom and its inhabitants. If you look at all all the worlds and all their inhabitants, none of them are human. All the inhabitants are Goombas and Turtles. So my theory is that Princess Peach and her people might actually be from space where we have actually seen another human, Princess Rosaletta. When she landed on whatever planet the Mushroom Kingdom inhabitants, she automatically claimed dominance and monarchical rule over the entire planet. Bowser was the original king, or King Koopa, did not take that sitting down at all. He declared all-out war on Princess Peach and on her kingdom. He eventually won the fight, and just as she was getting kidnapped and carried away, the Mario Brothers showed up, getting teleported, of course, from Brooklyn. One of the Toadstools came up to him and begged them to save their princess from the evil monsters, and so the game begins. Theory number two. I warn you that this is one of my darkest of my three theories and also borrow certain ideas from things like Ridley Scott's Aliens and certain Aquaman episodes in the Justice League and Superman. There are two ways to start this one. One is Bowser and his species are from space. The, the other one is the one I'm going to go with is that Bowser and his species are actually subterranean species but eventually evolved to the point where they could live above ground. Originally in this theory's timeline there were many kingdoms on the surface that ruled over the land but the kingdoms kept dumping all their trash down holes in the planet. Eventually, Bowser, the leader of his people, got tired of this and decided to declare war on the surface world. As Bowser and his people fought on Bowser's species, had the ability to adapt to the next generation of their offspring to new situations and climates to make them perfectly equipped to handling their situations or place next time it comes up. So Bowser and his people destroyed each kingdom and his, and his offspring were constantly evolving to survive and dominate in their new environment. When it, all, it was all said and done, Bowser and his species now controlled every kingdom but one, the Mushroom Kingdom, which Bowser could not bring himself to destroy even after he killed both the king and queen because he had fallen in love with the princess. So he kidnaps her and tries to make her fall in love with him, and then of course the Mario Brothers show up and, well, you know the rest. Theory th 3 is classic Mario Brothers, and... Well, we all know the plot. Princess Peach lives a life of luxury where Bowser and his people are the entire working class, apparently, in this entire universe or world that makes everything work. Bowser, as the leader, starts demanding that Princess Peach starts giving him and his people equal rights and stop being treated like slaves. Princess Peach doesn't do this, so Bowser declares a strike, then goes on all out war against her, and takes her captive to use her as a bargaining chip to get the rights and the respect his people properly deserve. But over the course of his kidnapping, he starts to fall in love with Princess Peach despite himself, and then the Mario Brothers show up, and there you go. Well, that's it for my game theories for this week. If you like what you read here, please hit the like button and subscribe. Mm -hmm.